Bruh. Which way is- Oh! Uh, what am I doing? Nah, it's not gonna work. <laughs> so, in one of my classes this quarter, we have weekly assignments called Flex. And I think it's really interesting and I'm really excited about it because what it is, is you get to choose any skill that you've been wanting to learn and you do a small project for a week. And so you learn that skill and you create something out of it. And I was thinking, you know, I've been wanting to do something with CAD for a while and I've never done 3D printing, but I want to try it sometime. And in our campus here, we have a 3D printer. So I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if I made something that I could use on my Yashica mat and some film? So let's explain some things. This is my Yashica mat. It's a really old camera and it shoots 120 film. But this is 35 millimeter film and it's used for smaller cameras like this. As you can see, 35 millimeter film is a lot smaller than 120 film. But I want to try using my Yashica mat to shoot this 35 millimeter film. So our challenge is going to be making 35mm film fit in my Yashica mat. First, we need to take some measurements. A roll of 120 film has a length of 65mm, a diameter of 24mm, and has a hole that is 6mm in diameter and 5mm deep. The 35mm film canister has a length of 42mm, also a diameter of 24mm, and a hole 10mm in diameter on the bottom, and a piece 10mm in diameter on the top. Now, time to model this up, using SolidWorks. I'm going to need two pieces that are 20.5mm in length, and which fit the top and bottom of the 35mm canister. Next, I export the files as STL files, and then slice them in Cura so that the 3D printer can read the files. Next is printing. And now we finally load the film into the camera. It's time to go shoot some photos. <laughs> okay, hey guys. So I have the Ishika mat all loaded up with the Cinestone and we're out here in Japantown, Nihon Machi and we're gonna try to get some pictures with this. So, yeah! <laughs> what am I doing? Right! <laughs> Wait, show the inside of the viewfinder, it's so weird. I can't see anything. <laughs> I 
one, two, three. Let's go that way. Let me get a shot of you. Here, look. No, just keep wait, walking. So no, 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 just keep walking. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. You know the the 360 degree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take it? Yeah. Play. Do I feel confident about it? No. Okay. Got it. Got it. Ugh. Which side do you think looks more? That side? That side? Or of the peace tower. No, I agree this side is Okay. Overall, I'm really happy with how this project turned out. I'm kind of disappointed that I ruined the film by exposing it to the stupid little light on the light switch in my bathroom, but. This project forced me to make something on my own with CAD and to 3D print for the first time. And I can't wait to create more in the future. <laughs> I'll put the link to the files in the description in case some of you guys want to tinker around with this. Thanks for watching and subscribe for future videos. Bye. Oh, I have... that's probably my last shot.